Washington County has some unique geographical concerns, and that is our terrain. Our best means of communication is our police radio, and that only covers about 80 to 90 percent of our area. And the second, of course, is cell phone and the computers that we have in our cars. If we could have an officer go to a scene, come back out to his car and punch his report right into the computer and send it right into the server, uh, then he doesn't have to come into the office. But we can't do that now. From one end of our county to another, even running hot with lights on, it sometimes is 40 minutes. So we have 641 square miles. And if you can have an officer stay in his zone rather than driving half an hour or more here, do his reports, and then driving half an hour back to get to his zone, it really increases the proficiency of your operation significantly. It would increase our crime scene capabilities uh, tremendously with the use of uh, you know, being able to take a photograph, going right to our computer, downloading it, transmitting it to the other officer's computer, uh, you know, it's instantaneous. And everybody on the team knows everything that everybody else knows, which is a tremendous asset in working a major crime. Signal 91 from that address. You know, you mentioned frustration. It's the 80 to 90 percent coverage of our radios, because if you have an officer who goes out and he says, okay, I'm out at the location, and he goes in, uh, you know, and then you check him up and you don't hear from him and you don't hear from him, you don't hear from him. So then you've got cars headed that direction. Well, it was a, a matter of he couldn't get through. To help us with the internet capability, I think it would be a huge benefit, not only for law enforcement, but also for the citizens of Washington County to have uh, affordable, accessible uh, internet service. because we cannot reach all of our citizens right now. For example, uh, we recently uh, had a homicide. We knew who the guy was, and we knew he had a shotgun, so he would be armed and dangerous. So we immediately put that information out. We sent out some tweets, Facebook. We also have crime watch groups in several areas, and if something happens, we can just send out an email to all of those people. And I think it would be a tremendous asset for um, our Amber Alerts. Uh, you know, if you have a child that has been abducted, uh, if you put the word out, you know, child is missing and uh, it gets out to a tremendous amount of people very quickly. And that's what we want. And I think that the broadband uh, is a very important step and we need to get there to come in to what everybody else is doing already.